The West Kelowna Warriors were the only show on Tuesday night in the BC Hockey League, and it was a show from the get-go. Justin Katz making a good save early on before it was the Centennials to break the ice in the hockey game at 15:46. Easton Ryan with his third goal of the season on the power play came down the right wing side and put it past the glove side of Katz from Dylan Wagner and Zach Lozier to give Merritt a one to nothing lead in front of a packed house at Royal LePage Place. And it was the Centennials who jumped ahead by a pair with two minutes to go in the opening period as the puck came back out in front and Dylan LaRiviere with his sixth goal of the season. The Merritt forward picking up the marker from Michael Felsing and Jackson Murray made it a 2 nothing hockey game before the Warriors came back and were able to get themselves back in the game. 2-1 the score on this nice feed from Brennan Nelson. He's able to spot his man right out in front of the net in Felix Caron, and Caron able to bury it for his team-leading 12th. Nelson, the assist, the short-handed goal with 123 into the second period, gave the Warriors some life in the second period and made it a 2-1 hockey game before the Warriors uh, were able to come back and get the game on even terms before that Katz outstanding save as he was able to kick out a shot and then get the rebound with the stick as well. Bo Lane was excellent too. Got a little help from some friends too on that post hit by Jack Pridham. The Warriors on a power play late in the period at 14:54 get the evening marker and again it's Karan his second goal of the period 13th goal of the season the power play goal on the one-time shot put it up and over the blocker side of lane from isaiah norland to michael salandra the power play goal for the warriors gets them back on even terms and ties the game 2-2 the score going in to period three but lane's work was not done he was outstanding in the period made this tremendous save on vigo nordstrom in the third period the warriors got their way back into the hockey game and took the lead for the first time jack pridham with a shot from the left face-off circle that just had enough to get through the glove arm of Bo Lane into the back of the net pridham's got his seventh of the year from felix Caron at 144 the third period that made it a 3-2 warrior lead and gave them the lead for the first time in the hockey game but it would be the centennials who would battle back late in the period before lane again another fantastic stop that time robbing a man on the glove side and if he didn't make that save this game could have gone another way but at 11 11 it's tyler wishart who ties the game up getting around a warrior defender on his backhand cut toward the front of the net and put it up and over justin katz from charles thomas la rochelle and also ryan spinale the Warriors had their chance in the third, but it's a goal with three with 15:44 to go in the third. Michael Stenberg got it back in front and buried it past Justin Katz. That gave the lead to the Centennials by a 4-3 score, and that is the final on this Tuesday night.